What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Eddie Hates Anime here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to some amazing anime facts. I, I thought it would be very interesting to watch a video with just hella anime facts to learn some stuff, but there were none. At least no good ones that were made in the last couple years. All the really popular ones I could find were all from like the early 2010s, where anime was still a foreign concept to a lot of people. They probably thought it was like all hentai and stuff. So they were pretty like facts that we would consider normie now. And the only ones that I could find that were like in the last couple years were either anime series specific facts, like 107 Attack on Titan facts that you didn't know, or 100 uh, Naruto facts, or character specific facts, like a uh, thousand Goku facts that you wouldn't know so I was like I'm not gonna record this video but right when I was about to give up I found a gem from this account with 7,000 subscribers that got 60 whole views and I found out that this account is beating me for the most dead channel that's a joke <laughs> 10 shocking facts about anime you need to know guys we need to know this but the, the the real cherry on top the real turning point for me deciding to watch this video listen to this how much do you know about an anime? how much do you know about an anime? i don't know do you would you consider yourself an anime expert or merely a novice i think do i'm an expert to impress your fellow otakus with some mind i yes i would love to be mind-blowing to my fellow otakus well you're in the right place 10 amazing things you didn't know about anime. Facts about popular anime series like Naruto and One Piece along with- Oh, thanks. I would love to know some Naruto facts. So yeah, guys, we're gonna react to this video. We're gonna learn some mind-blowing anime facts that will totally impress our Otakus friends. Let me get the broken glasses on. I'm ready. You guys better be ready too, because we're about to know the most about anime that anyone will ever know. We're gonna be like anime experts. Giguk? Pleh. The anime man? Pleh. We're gonna become the anime gods, okay? Just, let's just fasten our seatbelts for three minutes and 42 seconds. That's short as hell for 10 shocking facts about anime. You know, what is this? Is a speed run to knowing anime? All right, guys, th this video is a speed run to knowing anime. Let's get right into it, but be sure to like and subscribe or else I will uh, sell your kidneys on the black market. All right, let's get into it. How much do you know about an eye? I think Would I know a lot about anime. yourself an anime expert or merely a novice? Do you want to impress your fellow otakus with some mind-blowing anime facts? I would love well, to. Well, you're in the right place. 10 amazing things you didn't know about anime. Popular anime series like Naruto and One Piece along with tidbits about the Japanese animation industry. Get your Ooh. thinking cap ready. Here My are thinking cap is so ready. About anime that might just Let's go. What was the most eye-opening fact? Vote most eye-opening fact? fact? You haven't said a fact yet, bro. That blew you away. Hi. Thank you, Nisar Panky, for this video. Legend. You're watching Nisplix, and this written by Nisar. Let's get started. One. Yes. Anime is huge, especially in Japan. According to a 2000... Anime is huge, especially in Japan. Thank you! I'm very glad that you've taught me that anime is huge in the place that it originated from. Like, I, yes, I, I know it's huge in the West, so obviously it's huge where it came from. So, thanks for this fact, man. I would have never guessed that anime is huge, especially in Japan. Thank you. For document from the Japan External Trade Organization, anime films and television shows account for 60% yes, of the world's animation-based entertainment. Almost 40 schools in Japan have declared anime as an individual subject on its own. Anime Ooh, that's actually, I actually, okay, I actually didn't know that one. But I'm guessing the subject's not called anime. It's probably anime. But I'm guessing that it's not just like this anime. Like, it, maybe it's not like the way we think of it because isn't anime in Japan just anything that's animated? Like, they, don't they consider anything animated anime? While as if we're talking as an American, anything anime is just things from Japan that are animated. Like, so when they say anime is a subject, isn't it just animation? Or am I tripping? I don't know. But I didn't know that. That's, that's kind of cool. Voice but, acting yeah. is also huge as Japan has around 130 voice acting schools that is dope y'all reckon i could voice act i think i'd be great at it too huh the highest grossing anime film of all time is kimi no no one that is no longer true actually this video came out on march 1st so i don't know if it would be true at the time but the kimetsu no yaiba film uh mugen train beat that if i'm if i'm correct if i'm wrong definitely correct me in the comments but so far th this video is on fraud watch i'm just saying this video is on fraud watch the critical and commercial success of Mac Nothing against your name though. This movie was freaking amazing. Koto Shinkai's your name can't be understated. This film brought in more than $355 million worldwide. Ooh. Three. Anime is not the same as cartoon contrary to popular belief. 
with complicated oh, stories man. and in-depth character development and I'm avoids the cartoon label and no, no no this is actually going back to what I was thinking about technically yes like to, to Americans anime for the most part is what we would consider like the more complex stories and all that stuff but like kid cartoons still exist in Japan do they not and wouldn't those just be cartoons to Japanese people so like I'm pretty sure they still have cartoons just like us it's just that anime fans in the West or wherever don't go out of their way to watch kid shows that are made in Japan that would still be anime because th those exist it's just we, we don't watch those so I'm pretty sure they still have like the cartoons but technically yes they're not like American cartoons so I guess we wouldn't I don't even know but technically it's still anime so y yes they do I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just trying to sound smart guys it makes claims on being a higher art form Four. A higher art form. The longest running anime has over seven five hundred episodes. See, so is this not like one of the cartoon ones? Episodes, but each is only about six minutes long. Manga Nippon. Are you gonna tell me it's seven thousand five hundred episodes? They have such a deep and complex story that it, it just beats One Piece in world building, and and it's been going along this whole time without repeating a few freaking storylines and stuff. Like, there's no way. So they just kind of proved their last point wrong with that one. Five. Jeez. One anime character has twenty two different voice actresses. Yukli would Helseth from Is This a Zombie well, yeah, has 20 to voice actresses in 20 to episodes. Oh, the character herself I know is this. mostly mute. However, all her speaking lines are all imagined by the protagonist resulting in different voices for yeah, her fantasy. Yeah, dude, Six. I heard about that. Six. In Japan, it's not surprising if you accidentally find a manga. In Japan, it's common that after someone finishes a manga a volume, manga. they'll just leave it somewhere for someone manga. to pick it up. Seven. Wait, they just did it. I, I didn't know that. Is it that. If that's true, that's kind of, that's actually kind of dope. Just, just, yeah, I'm done reading this volume. All right. Someone pick it up. Like, imagine I just grab all of those and just go on the street and just throw them out and just hope someone picks it up. That'd be kind of funny, low-key. That'd be kind of funny, low-key. The Anime Space Brothers includes a voice actor that recorded in outer space. For the 31st Ooh, episode of cool. the Anime series, I Space Brothers, real-life astronaut Akihiko Hashide made a guest appearance on the show and actually recorded his part aboard the International Space Station. Okay, okay. That one was actually impressive. That's the first one on this list. Fair play. That's a really dope fact, actually. That's awesome. That's really cool. I don't I, I think you can get off of Fraud Watch unless the rest of these facts are absolutely bogus, but that one was pretty cool. Let's keep going. Eight. Spirited Away was the first in film movie. to be nominated for and win an Academy Award. The I Academy think I heard about Award that. That's dope. I love, I love Spirited Away. doesn't stray away from Disney and Pixar movies, but in 2003, the Anime movie Spirited Away won Best Animated. You know, when I was younger, I thought Spirited Away was a Disney or a Pixar movie, low-key. I was such an idiot, man. Feature at the 75th Academy Awards. However, Hayao Miyazaki, the director of the movie, didn't attend the ceremony because of his opposition to the Iraq War. Nine. Uh, 50 new colors were created for Akira. The critically acclaimed movie Akira Jeez, was also a huge Jeez, I didn't know that. I knew that the, the animation in Akira was definitely like, what is it called? Like a stepping stone for animation? Like, it, it, Akira was built different for its time, bro. Oh, the, the animation was so dope. I know there's a Quarter Crew uh, uh, episode thingy of one of their videos that talks about it, but it's so cool seeing the way they did it. It was awesome. For the Japanese anime industry. It consisted of to 212 shots and 160 zero single pictures. Dang. This is about Tuominous three times more than the average Anai movie. The majority of the scenes of the film were set to take place during the night, which was generally avoided by the animators during those days because of those scenes requiring extremely high usage of colors and that to with very high precision that film make the film look different. pleasing. Akira broke I really need to read the manga. Isn't there like a new anime series coming out about it? Or am I tripping? If there is, then I'm definitely watching it. If not, then I'll just read the manga. Because I heard like it goes farther in the movie and there's stuff like not in the movie and stuff. I don't really know. But... A number of 327 colors in the movie of which 50 were exclusively created for the film and its scene requirements. That's 10. so cool. Death Note is banned in China. When it comes to oh, I knew that one. <laughs> material, China certainly isn't shy. The Chinese government has banned popular anime series like High School of the Dead Attack on Titan and Psycho Pass without hesitation. Thanks Damn. for watching. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell. So you don't you miss know what? our latest videos. Of you know series. what? Nisplex, I got you, fam. I'll like, I'll subscribe, and I'll comment. Oh, wait. I'm on, I'm on John's account. Let me switch real quick. I'll like, I'll subscribe, and thank you. Nisplix for these anime facts. I totally wouldn't have known any of these if it weren't for you. So thank you. I will definitely reference these facts in many of my future anime YouTube videos. So I think that's that's a good uh, comment. All right, I'll leave it. Quick update. I'm currently editing this video, and guess what? Nisplix replied saying 
thanks buddy thumbs up i honestly think we're balling let's go all right guys what did you think about those anime facts did you learn anything i know i did i learned about the space thingamajig what was your favorite fact leave it in the comment below why is my uh whatever my hands just freaking out uh but yeah until next time bye bye that was a fun video i'm glad i recorded it holy crap